Hey, so what's going on guys? Back here with Drive Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Catalyst Vibe series for the iPhone 13 Pro Max and why the Vibe series, you might be wondering why not the influence, why not the total protection because the Vibe series at the moment is the only case that Catalyst offers that supports MagSafe. So the Catalyst Influence does not support MagSafe which is kind of a shame because I would have picked the Catalyst Influence over the Catalyst Vibe any day. I'm not so sure about the total protection but I heard that is MagSafe compatible and also supports the screen protector but that is pre-order status so I'm not going to be talking about that case yet until I get my hands on it. But anyways, we are here to talk about the Catalyst Vibe series and yeah, uh, my experience with this case has been average uh, because I've personally use better cases and I think for the price um, it's a tough sell definitely it's a tough sell but uh, there will be a couple of you that might disagree uh, if you have used the previous iPhone 12 series uh, Catalyst Vibe but I have not used the 12 series but the 13 series and I have already my thoughts about this case so that I'll be giving you that right after the unboxing but anyways, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. Without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing and review of the Catalyst Vibe series for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Alright guys, so let's get through the unboxing real quick because the unboxing is pretty simple. Okay, let's take a look at the box itself so you can see Catalyst branding. You can see I bought it for price data right here of course I did get a slight discount so you can see right here is 2.5 times higher drop protection which is 10 feet in this case you can see extra 30% louder sound because yes this is the good side of the case that it actually has a rerouting passage for the bottom firing speaker so it faces forward which I'll be showing you guys later so basically that's it and you can see for the iPhone 6.7 inch which is basically the 13 Pro Max and of course, without forgetting to mention, you do have a free lanyard. Okay, so on the back, you can see the features of this case. Right here, you can pause that and read it for yourself. I do like the rotating mute switch, which is like a signature for Catalyst cases. And I really enjoy using that. So there's a plus for this case already. So you can just see what are the functions. Of course, this is MagSafe compatible as well. So let's quickly get this case unboxed. I'm going to start with the bottom. It's much easier. Okay, so that's about it. You get the lanyard on top right here, which I wouldn't be using. And then you get the case. So the case is pretty easy to get out. All right, so that's about it. So you can see right here, we have the case. Uh, on the back, you can see this like fake carbon fiber texture, which is, uh, I would say, um, poorly implemented, but I'll explain to you why. You can see Catalyst branding, you can see a pretty good cutout, very spot on cutout for the camera lenses. Uh, on the bottom, you can see there's a small little hole for what you say is the speaker side of things, and then a lightning cutout. All right, so you can see it's rerouted to the bottom of the case. So one for the microphone and one for the speaker. Uh, on the left side, you can see this uh, up and down. Uh, very tactile buttons. I do like the buttons on this case. I generally all Catalyst cases And then you can see this rotating uh, Mute and ring toggle with the Catalyst logo of course. So on the inside this is where you can see your MagSafe magnets and this uh, Shock absorbing design I should say. So if you do drop your phone back first Yeah, it's going to like spread out the shock uh, That's what that's what they say Okay on the corners you can see very nice uh, drop protection. I do trust my phone in this case, that's for sure. I feel so much uh, safer using a phone with thicker borders. Alright, so you can see how it looks like on the inside. On the right side, of course, this is your very tactile power button. You can see this uh, textured design on the sides, both sides as well. See right here. Very nice grip, of course, very confident grip. But yeah, you have some drawbacks as well. Okay, let's quickly install the phone in the case. So as usual, volume button side first. Let's get this installed. Quick and easy. 
Alright, so you can see the phone is installed in the case and I have a full coverage tempered glass screen protector and I think it fits really well. Let me give you a look at the corners. I think it fits perfectly with this case. Really, really nice. Uh, let me slide the corner in. You can see really, really nice. No border showing. Uh, not like the official Apple cases. You can see it's totally covered up. The mute and ring toggle definitely works. Let me just give you a demonstration. See, it works with no problems. Volume buttons are super tactile. And then power button as well. You can just tap it and it just works. Of course, it's not too mushy and it's not overly hard to press. It's just the right amount of pressure. So you can see on the back, the cutouts. Bottom, the cutout is spot on, unlike the total protection, which is slightly off center. But this is really, really spot on. Everything is perfect, I should say, uh, in terms of the fit and finish. All right, so what do I think about this case after using this Catalyst Vibe series for the last couple of days? Um, overall, I should say it is a good case. I think many people would not have a problem with this case, but for me, I like to nitpick because I've tested many brands of cases, many types of cases, tested the really crappy ones and I tested the really good ones just like the Pitaka Make Easy Case Pro. Of course, that costs another 100 ringgit more than this case. This is around 189-ish ringgit. If you get it during the major sales, uh, you can even get it for like 150 to 160 ringgit, which is okay, I should say. My experience with MagSafe, let's start with MagSafe on this device. Um, if you have seen my Pitaka videos, you have seen how strong the magnets are. And on this case, I am very sad to say that the MagSafe magnets are not as strong about like 50% less in terms of the grip that leads us to the back portion of this case with this fake matte carbon fiber texture fake carbon fiber texture this picks up a ton of dirt i should say because of how rough the texture is you can see right here i hardly even use this case in dirty conditions and you can see it just picks up a ton of dirt and that just drives me crazy because um I, I don't mind a rough texture, just like the Pitaka Mac Easy Case 2. That kind of rough texture does not get dirt stuck in the fibers of the case, or I should say in the texture of the case, but this does. And um, you know how the MagSafe charger looks like? It is white. And if this gets dirty and you start using your MagSafe charger, your MagSafe charger will get dirty as well. And that is a pain in the ass to actually clean off because you know it's rubber it's a rubbery texture uh, that's one complaint and number two it causes like it to have a ring right here because yeah it's been cleaned off by the max safe puck so yeah i really hate the back of this case of course yeah people are going to say you know you can just wipe it off you can clean it off but why do i have to go through the extra step to keep my case clean i can't i just like clean it off like get it sanitize and get it cleaned up with just one simple step instead of like scrubbing off the dirt right here just uh, drives me crazy that why didn't they just use a smoother texture that would have made this case so much better to use so i really hate this texture right here you can see even if i just scrub my fingernails you can see like scratches on the back and if they want to implement magsafe they should implement it just like how pitaka did it and uh, this is just uh, average at best in terms of magsafe so i, I would say like because of how the magnets are, I would suggest you to just go with the Catalyst Influence. That would, that's what I would have gone with if I knew the magnets were this crap. But anyways, it is what it is. I've already purchased this case. Can't do anything about it. Uh, it works, but not up to my expectations. So in terms of the features of this case, you do have four openings in the case or holes in the case where you can actually attach a lanyard. Uh, I do not use lanyards, but I think that would benefit a lot of people who go like hiking, and stuff like that who need the lanyard function and yeah you can actually attach a lot of things to this so taking a look at the bottom so-called front firing speakers and microphone i should say um yes it does work in terms of louder yes it gets louder but in terms of clarity it just decreases because of the way it's constructed i mean the iphone speaker itself sounds really good the iphone 13 pro max Sound speakers it sounds incredible uh, but this speaker causes the mids and the highs to actually be boosted 
for some apparent reason because the way it's constructed it's, it's such a small chamber inside that it just doesn't really resonate the sound that well but in terms if you do want to reduce the risk of muffling your device uh, when you have calls and stuff yes uh, this case does the job definitely it reroutes the sound to the front in terms of calls wise i did not have any issues so yeah it works i mean it just does the job as usual but in terms of drop protection wise i honestly love catalyst cases i can drop my phone tons of times in a catalyst case and i just will not have any worries about my phone breaking because it has really good lay on the table protection you can see right here i'm not sure whether the camera is doing it justice but the protection is really really good i mean i have a pretty thick screen protector and you can see i still have like a credit card's uh, height worth of drop protection if i do drop my phone face down and on the sides you do not have to worry because it has just so much bumper around the edges that your phone just bounces like it's like nothing and doesn't get damaged so yes i do like the design and i do like this rotating mute toggle and i overall like the cutouts i mean the cutouts just work they're all spot on not like off center or something like that they're really really spot on uh speaker wise yeah personal preference back texture i don't like it i wish they made it smoother i believe the iphone 12 version was smooth i'm not sure why they decided to change it to this matte texture uh but i honestly hate it so much uh other than that i think this case overall is pretty good in terms of rigidity uh let me take it off my device pretty easy to take off as well so yeah it's a, it's a plus point in terms of rigidity you might be wondering is this the same rigidity as the catalyst influence no let me bring my catalyst influence right here this is my iphone 12 pro version you can see it's really solid takes a lot of force to bend because of this uh hard back but this is just like look at this it's just like the spigen rugged armor if i'm not mistaken yes the rugged armor is just like a rugged armor with maxif if that's what you want to call it but yeah um basically it's a very thin case um but i think in terms of drop protection if i compare this with spigen i would take this any day definitely if you're looking for something that is flexible like this i will go with this because this provides so much more bumper protection on all the edges that i won't have to worry if you do like the thin case if you're into like tpu cases with magsafe i think this is the safer option still uh, but if you're into like hybrid cases of course just go with the influence it's no brainer all right so this has been a pretty in-depth review for you guys i hope you guys like this video if you did like it do hit the thumbs up and so subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one i do want to see what you guys think in the comments below if you have actually used the catalyst vibe case before uh do tell me your experience with it as well so that's all for this video thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one